It's Diana. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Today I have a jam-packed video for you guys. Um, we are going outside and tackling our front porch and our back deck. So I'm starting in the front um, and I'm just clearing things up before I clean this area. Um, and I'm going to set up our patio chairs out here as we did last summer. If you haven't checked out the video that I had where I transformed this space last year, uh, I'm going to link it around here somewhere. But in today's video, we're just refreshing this area here and then we'll take it to the back where there's a lot of work to be done. Um, we haven't really done much in these areas since um, the winter months. So there's a lot to do. Um, and I hope that you'll be motivated to tackle any area or space in your house that you need to clean or um, take care of. Um, in this video, we will be not just cleaning, we'll also be um, decorating, we'll be doing some little DIYs, we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff for this short little video and I hope that you can be motivated as well. Hope you won't get hurt I just hope you've been through worse Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotions Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with So I used some soap and water to get this space cleaned um, and you'll notice that um, today I have a hose connected which makes life a lot easier um, but in the back we don't really have a working faucet um, well it's working but it like doesn't connect properly to the hose and so I have to use a, bu um, a bucket um, back there but uh, this work in the front was much easier and so the i guess the message here is that it doesn't matter what you have if you have a fancy little um you know machine that can make your life easier then great if you just have a bucket with some soap then that's great too um, whatever it takes to kind of get your space in a um, condition that you feel confident and comfortable and happy and proud of This is what the front porch is looking like at this point. I'm super happy with how clean and um, neat it looks. I love it. Um, we are just missing a plant, which I will have to go and get from the store later on in the video. Um, and I'll put that out at the end. So you'll see uh, the full transformation at the very end. And now I'm going in the back. This is what our deck was looking like. It was a hot mess. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, throughout the summer, we didn't really do much here. So it's very dirty and we need to get it cleaned. Um, but the update from the video that I did where I transformed this deck last year is that this year we have a rug, which um, I was able to get from someone off a of Facebook marketplace. I got this. It's one of those um, like heavier, really good quality rugs. You find them for maybe $150 to $200 and it's huge. Um, and so I got that for about $60, I think. Um, so and it was in really good condition i think they only had it for like one season so i loved it um and it's a nice neutral color so i'm washing it um and then i will keep that inside for a little bit just because we get some runny or rainy days um ahead but then once i clean the space i'll bring it back out explode every time you go and slam the door Door, how we always end up on the floor We know how to push the buttons to the core Or I've got you If we think it out what it's all about Takes a second and then we back it up again Coaster ride for the triggered minds But I don't ever want us to stop playing Go ahead, to let me smile from for all 
rug is nice and clean I'm gonna put it under some or on top of some chairs so that it can dry out naturally and nicely outside on this hot sunny day I'm gonna move on to now the deck um, this is how dirty and messy it is I'm going to have to remove all these things and um, sweep and wash the deck um, and as I mentioned earlier we don't have a proper system to like set up the hose so I have to use a bucket and this brush but that is good enough for me and I'm going to tackle um, the the whole deck section by section it's a big deck and um, just I want you to be able to see the transformation sort of um, step by step I don't really need new friends so spend your time with me looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but There's like the two of us are gold and the gold You see, what do you got? So take a chance, take a chance on me It's magical when you are close So get close on me What do you got? Cause I am gold and I'm gold All right, hold up. For anyone with kids, I want to show you a little something. This lovely concoction right here is something that my kids made for me, just special for me. Disgusting. Um, so I need to get that cleaned up, but I am going to be using this um, planter later on. But I just wanted to show you because I thought maybe some parents out here with little kids might appreciate that. More than my name I wanna float on downstream Go and find my wild dreams Yeah I'd kill to feel it all shake You like a twisted mind game I'll be burned by your flame oh. Ups and downs, no in-betweens Fire and ice burn gasoline You know I love it You know I love it Love and hate, romantic sin Fire and ice gone with the wind You know I love it We're the kind So after all that cleaning, this is what the deck is looking like. Um, it's nice and clean and um, 
I'm gonna let it all dry out uh, before I put the furniture down. Uh, I am going to be taking a trip to the store to get some plants. Um, I'm actually gonna make two stops. One is at a local Bad Bath & Home store um, just to look for some planters and cheaper options. And I'm also gonna go to Home Depot because I am getting some plants. So this project I have actually done over several days. Um, I had planned to do it on one weekend, but, but then we ended up having some rainy days, like a lot of rain. Um, so it took me like maybe three or four days um, over like maybe two weeks to get all of this done. Um, but I'm happy on this day. It was nice and sunny. I put everything out um, and then uh, I realized that I was missing something that I needed for this project and I needed to go back to the store so I ended up leaving it halfway and of course it ended up being a rainy night I had to um, kind of stop that night and then come back to it on a different day and this is what I was missing I needed some post caps for these posts that I have on the deck because the old ones were uh, broken we had these solar ones that um, weren't I guess screwed on properly so they fell off and they broke so I just went ahead and got some new ones so I'm drilling those in and we are good to go And on this final day here, of course, this was the funnest part of the whole project, which was getting the plants um, set up and putting them in place. But I am overall super happy with how everything turned out for the deck. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. And before I go back to the front porch to put the final touches, I'm wondering what you think. I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, these are the same chairs that I had worked on last summer. Um, I feel like they still look really good and I feel like the flowers made everything look really nice. And so back to the front porch, I had this planter, if you remember correctly, with the concoction, of course. Um, I tried putting it out at front, but then it just, it wasn't working. So then I thought, hmm, maybe we need to do something about it. Um, and I had some leftover um, spray paint in the house. So I thought, okay, maybe it will look nice if I just painted it. So that's what I did. And I wasn't wrong. <laughs> it ended up looking much better. What do you think? I've been going crazy without you. I'm so alone. I'm a child. So this is the before and after for the front porch. What do you think? I feel like it looks so much better. Um, and I think that's it. I think we're done for the front and we're done for the back. So I guess that concludes my video. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some motivation to um, get started on any summer project that you might have um, for this year. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful summer. But you know what? If you click the subscribe button, um, we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.